Okay, um, I literally couldn't resist doing this. So there's somebody, uh, I don't know, it's one of these, one of these uh, so-called uh, activists. I say so-called because I, I think they're terrorists. Uh, and they're using a lot of violent language. But this one in particular really made me, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, it's, I, <laughs> it's funny. Um, so here we have this shit. Um, now, of course, that is uh, an awesome person who you should subscribe to, uh, right there. Uh, and then we have, uh, we have them talking a bunch of shit, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it says join or die. Now, of course, if this is just one of those radical activists, that'd be one thing, right? But, but look at what this person has in their profile text. Now I want you to see that this is the same one, right? Look over here. Oh, you, oh, oh, I hate having these, these fucking, I, I can't wait to have a better, better setup here. Okay, here we go. Look at that. So, uh, Mr. Joiner Die here, average positive masculinity enjoyer. <laughs> you, what, how is this an example of positive masculinity? How is this positive in any way? Forget the masculine part. How is this a positive thing to put out there in the public? Like, this is literally a fucking SNL skit right here. This shit is hilarious. You want me to think that you are an average positive masculinity, masculinity enjoyer while you're bits putting out threats like this right here? I can't take this community seriously. I can't because there's no, this is what happens when you have no leadership, when you have no moral leadership of any, any kind, any it's becomes decentralized. And then you get people putting shit out there like this. They don't even think about how they look from across the aisle, or maybe they don't care, but either way, what the fuck, by the way, this is another example of how uh, men don't care. Men just don't give a shit. Right? What is what is being done about this? What is done? What is being done about these activists making act making death threats every other day against other people? Right? If a Muslim person did this ten years ago, they would have came to his home and fucking arrested him. Right? It used this country used to be the anti-terrorism uh, bunch, and now we've got people just like this posting terroristic shit all the time on the internet. These are people who are literally saying stuff like this and. They, uh, do they get an, uh, a visit from the FBI, from Homeland Security? They get to post uh, pictures of firearms, and then whenever people point out the fact, point out the scary shit that these people do, you know, they play the victim and say they say stupid shit like, "Well, what about the twenty-eight people who did this shit to whatever, right, to their group?" In other words, it's like. They're doing it too. Like I, I remember I watched somebody on YouTube who said it's fucking hilarious and it's true. Like so, two wrongs makes a right, right? That that's your moral argument because I've heard that before from some of them. It's their moral argument, which is they're doing it too. So this is again another example of how men don't care and give a shit. People like this should have been shut down the moment they posted this. This is a, this is a fucking terrorist right here. This is a literal fucking terrorist. Making a terroristic threat, uh, but I guess uh, I guess the war on terrorism doesn't exist anymore, right? I guess we're just gonna let this fucking shit go. We're gonna let these people continue to do this and play the victim, while the rest of us have to wait for the next fucking mass shooting involving these crew, involving this crew, or whatever else they're planning to do. I don't know. What say you?